Now we're making dessert next. Some dessert. sort of dessert? Yes, we are. Can you guys imagine dessert in the crock pot? Boy, that's neat. Yeah, we're going to make some banana bars. Good for our banana bars. Coconut crunch banana bars. You need three medium bananas mashed, three cups dates chopped, one cup raw nuts chopped, one half cup coconut, one half teaspoon salt, and one cup of quick oats. Well, Jill, here we have some coconut crunch banana bars. <laughs> And this is a recipe that is very low in fat, and yet it's just, and, and doesn't have any sugars added to it, but yes. oh man, it's so sweet. It really has a lot of flavor to it. And I love dessert, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're kindred hearts there. That, that's right. <laughs> and so what we've started out with was mashed bananas. Now okay. I have this recipe in a larger amount or a smaller amount, and here we're going to do the full larger recipe. Okay. So we've got about a cup and a half of mashed bananas. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to add... The rest of our things, we'll the put dates. the dates right in there. And then you can use any kind of chopped nuts as you'd like. And I'm using some walnuts, walnuts here. Yeah. And then some coconut. Oh, yeah. And salt. And you just want to oh, get this mixed easy. up together. The thing, I've been playing around with this. And, and yes. uh, I recently, I left the oats out of this recipe, what mm -hmm. we'll add next. But mm -hmm. I, I used um, some wheat germ and flaxseed. Oh, and it was delicious. Again, yes. because of the sweetness of this, you don't really notice. Yes. Because and the bananas are sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it just really has it. So you can put the oats in there. Okay. But sorry. if you want to leave those out, you can add like a half a cup of ground flaxseed mm -hmm. and a half a cup of wheat germ. Oh, that's neat. Yep. And flaxseed and wheat germ is really good for you too, yep, right? It is. It yes. is. So oh, that's neat. You just mix this mix up. Together. And then mm -hmm. if you want to get the pot there, now this is our crock pot. It's a different size than the last yep, one. Yep, this is a um, this is about a four quart. Okay. Or no, it's a three and a half quart oval. Now it says on the front. I'm trying to look here. Does it say the size? No, it doesn't. So but how the are you way, supposed to know? Okay, well, the way that you, if you don't have your box and don't know for sure what it <laughs> yeah, is, okay, you fill it up with water right to the brim. Okay. And then. Um, like if I filled this up, I know that this is a three and a half quart. Mm -hmm. It actually wouldn't hold three and a half quarts of water. Oh, it wouldn't? No, it would be like a, roughly about a cup or two less than that. Okay. Cause, um, so how can they say it's three and a half quart when it's not three and a half quart? Jill, this is TV. Oh. We, <laughs> we don't talk bad about okay. companies. Or, okay. You know. okay. <laughs> they, they measure the circumference. So it's the outside, yeah, not the inside. Yeah, and that's how they determine. At least that that's what sense. I was told by customer service because I wonder the same thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. That makes sense. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Now we're going to just pour this right in. Now I noticed that you've sprayed this one too. Yes. Thank okay. you. Yep. You want to spray it with a nonstick spray. And Would it say in your cookbook when to spray and when not to spray? Yep. Or? Oh, yep. good. Okay. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about that. And so you're just going to mash it down. Mm -hmm. And then after you've got it nice and sm smooth mm -hmm. down there, you're just going to pull it away from the side about with oh. your fork, about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Why? Do, what's the purpose? Because of that? the slow cookers, we call them slow cookers because that's the generic name. The technical, or you know, rival has the trade name called crock pots. Right. But uh, so technically, the generic name is a slow cooker. Okay. But most slow cookers cook from the sides. You know, their heating elements are on the side. Yes. And so you want to pull this away. And that's why you can bake in a slow cooker, because it's not cooking from the bottom. If it cooked from the yes. bottom, it would burn. which every once in a while people have slow cookers that cook from the bottom. But, but you know, those are usually the kind that you set this insert onto a yes. tray. And they call okay. that a slow cooker, but it, it's cooking from the bottom. But like I say, okay. almost all of them cook from the sides. Okay. And that way... Since it's cooking from the sides, it won't burn the bottom. You, you're yes. going to get brownness on the edges, and the you edges. do have to watch that. But So do you pull it in a certain amount? I see it looks like maybe half an inch or so. Yeah, well, about, about a quarter, quarter of an inch, inch that okay. you pull it in, because it is going to slide back out some. Yes. And then right. just like with the focaccia, you want to add that a towel okay. before you put your lid on so that it collects yeah. the condensation. Yeah, okay. And, um, and that's really, and then you, it bakes um, on low. Okay. The same with the focaccia, you bake it on low. Yeah, we did that on low too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's going to take, for an average pot, it's, let's see, it's about two to two and a half hours. Okay. But if it's an extra fast pot, it's an hour and three-fourths to two hours. Mm -hmm. And your fast mm -hmm. pot is right there in the middle. 
Mm, no. And, oh, go ahead. Well, and then you just let it bake, and then you can actually set the timer on this one also to okay. let it start like six hours later. Right. And then uh, you let it cool a little bit, and then you can slice them, and, and you can eat them just as they are, or you can put Ooh. a little applesauce on there yeah. or tofu yeah. cream, that sort of thing. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm going to school here, learning so much. <laughs> That's wonderful. I was just going to ask you, I was trying to remember, did you say the oval pots were usually a faster cooker? No, no, okay. I was saying like the six or seven quarts tend to gotcha. cook faster than the smaller gotcha. ones. Well, good thing I asked you. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's neat. And then you just eat it and enjoy it. I can't yeah. wait to try that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can, you know, you can use it for a dessert or you can use yes. it at breakfast. That's true. That's yeah. a good point. Now, yeah. let's give our friends at home your website one more time if okay. they are interested in either cookbook. Sh sure. Um, it's, it's familyhealthpub.com. Uh, coconut crunch banana bars. Ooh, 